In TV shootouts, some viewers have always complained that Sony has an unfair advantage because the reference monitor being used as a benchmark is a Sony monitor. But the fact of the matter is that these Sony reference monitors are used in Hollywood for post-production, for color grading when they are producing their big budget blockbusters. And here we have a Sony BVM HX310 which is capable of 1000 nits full screen. And here we have its successor, the BVM HX3110, which is capable of an even higher peak brightness of 4000 nits on a 10% window and still maintaining 1000 nits full screen. And with these displays, content creators, filmmakers, they can grade any movie to their liking up to the capability of the reference monitor. And you also have to understand that this Japanese brand is probably one of the only companies with a complete pipeline from content acquisition directly to the end display at home. Because we have the Sony Venice 2 camera across there, which is used in many blockbusters such as Top Gun Maverick, such as the latest F1 movie. And then we have the Sony Bravia 8 Mark II QD OLED there, which again, it is going to be tuned in the professional mode to replicate the look on the reference monitor made by Sony and clearly the peak brightness and also the color volume will be slightly different but the signature look is there basically what Sony is trying to do is to portray is to deliver the same sort of emotional feel that you get from seeing the contrast seeing the shadow details seeing the gamma seeing the color tone when you get all these elements together and when you combine them you just get a general feel that is beyond any measurements you can calibrate another display to perfection but sometimes you know you just miss that last magic ingredient and this is probably a sony secret sauce and i've actually personally bought two of these monitors and that is not because they gave me a discount because i didn't get any discount but I have actually compared against some direct competitors and especially near black, I just feel that even though without any sort of say advanced 3D light calibration, I just feel that you know it just comes out of black the cleanest. And therefore, you know, I have to invest half my life savings into these two displays. But talking about displays, the company is moving towards RGB LED technology which uses individual red, green and blue LEDs in an optical module to have better control of the output. So you will have higher luminous efficiency, you will have purer color wavelength and when you have all this combined, you will achieve a wider color gamut and with the superior peak brightness, then you will get a higher color volume. And RGB LED display technology is said to have up to four times the color volume of even the latest 4-stack WOLED or the latest generation of QD OLED displays because it is capable of higher peak brightness and especially one thing that many people miss is that these LED LCD based displays, they can actually achieve a higher brightness full screen than any OLED out there. For example, let's say the latest generation QD OLED, the maximum full screen brightness will be 400 nits. And I think you, know, you can easily double that on an LED LCD based display. But there are other things that give Sony an advantage in terms of their implementation of their RGB technology. And certainly two of them that I saw compared to the Hisense 116 UX is the lack of white blooming because maybe Sony is able to control the light output in a more precise manner and so the blooming will take on a more natural hue replicating stray lighting that hits your eyes and also the other one is superior viewing angle as well they were able to reproduce the color in a more consistent manner of axis and in terms of screen size and availability i think the attraction of RGB LED technology to Sony is that it can be scaled. It is unlike OLED, maxed out at 97 inches at a very expensive price. It can go from maybe 75, 85 to 98 or even larger screen sizes. And with this sort of technology, it provides a canvas, a really high ceiling of canvas for filmmakers to paint their masterpiece. And maybe that's the future where the company is heading and I hope to bring you more news about the RGB LED TVs from Sony in the near future.